Morning folks, uh, Monday motivation time for you. Um, if anybody asks, um, yes, I do look tired. <laughs> I don't know how I do. 40 miles I ran last week uh, just because I wanted to. Uh, it wasn't easy. God, it hurt. I tell you, I'm doing that sort of mileage. So today I'm pretty tired. So I've decided to have a rest. Um, I think it's warranted. Um, you know, and I, the, partly that's what I want to talk about um, today. Um, well, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. Firstly, I want to talk about positive thinking versus positive action uh, and the differences between the two because people tend to think when you're uh, you know, a bit motivated and stuff, you think positive all the time. And I suppose uh, I've talked about this before and it's, it, you don't always feel good. You don't always feel okay. You don't always feel great. You don't always feel whoop de doo um, The difference is, I suppose, like with the 40 miles last week, is that you take positive action towards your goals irrespective of how you're feeling. I mean, there's a limit to that. I mean, you know, I'm getting a bit of a sort of head cold and I'm a bit tired today, so I've decided that, you know, today is, is Monday, I'm going to have a rest. But what tends to happen is, um, we, we confuse positive thinking with positive action. So positive thinking is everything's okay when it's not, because sometimes it isn't, um, versus positive action is, well, everything's not okay. What do I need to do to move me forwards um, that I feel like doing and I can do? Now, some people get stuck in the rut of not doing anything for the rest of their life, which is fine if that's their bag. But if you want to achieve anything, you want to get somewhere, you've got to understand that sometimes you need to do what's called impact work, which is what I do, which is since my mum died, what I've tended to do is um, it, what's called impact work, so what's important, so do what's important, and if anything's mildly unimportant or really not important, leave it. So if it comes to something with me that's you know helping people or, or generating revenue or, or, or planning for clients or, or making the workout experiences good or whatever, then that part of what I've got to do has to be good, so that is the impact. When I'm not doing that, I have had some time to sort of pause, reflect and and not be okay. So this morning's message really is about it, it, it being okay for it not to be okay sometimes um, when you're on um, any sort of journey, particularly health and fitness, because health and fitness is is difficult sometimes to get yourself going, to get yourself moving, to get yourself working. Um, and sometimes you feel like crap, you know, stuff didn't go your way, someone's on your head in, whatever circumstances. And I think the key to it, as I said, really, is that sometimes it's, it's all right not to be all right, um, but that's a, the difference is if you want to achieve anything, is that you still do stuff that's important, so you still take action that's um, that's important, and you're still making um, progress towards your goals. So that's what I would say. So first things first, you know, remember that it's okay not to be okay, um, and it's okay not to think fluff and not to think pink elephants and clouds and unicorns all the time, <laughs> but um, it, it's about judging what's important. So for example, um, as a practical tip, here's what I would say. It's okay to feel like crap and eat crap for a day or to feel wallow in this because all this never give up shit and all this, oh, you're perfect all the time is nonsense. I'm not like that and I wouldn't expect anybody else to be. However, th when that day turns into a week, and then that week turns into a month, that's when you derail yourself because you allow, because remember, you will default back to behave, your, your behavior so quickly. Um, if, you try, if you're making a change, it's unbelievable. So the first point to make there is that it's okay not to be okay. Um, and remember the difference between positive thinking, positive action. So don't always think positive. You don't always have to think positive, but if you're trying to make progress, it's important that you keep making some progress, even when you feel a bit crappy, um, rather than just let the lot come down. So messages for today is it's okay to be tired, it's okay not to be okay, it's okay to da 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 as long as um, you keep making progress and keep moving forward. Um, so have a good day, everyone, um, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.